Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meat Shield, and welcome back to The Last Door. Still on season two, and we are about to start chapter four. Shit is getting serious. If I remember right, at the end of the last episode, uh, Wakefield had gone beyond the veil by the looks of things, and he'd found DeVitt. So let's find season f uh, episode four, not season four, Beyond the Curtain, and we shall begin. He must be stopped. Who? Who must be stopped? Oh, is that Alexandra? It is. We haven't seen you for a while, have we? Where are you off to? What are you doing? We have not come this far. Okay, this is... That's an eerie. To see our work ruined now. Okay, bye. We left the black waves of that sea behind and walked through the mist. At times, gusts of wind parted the mist, revealing a barren landscape under a dying sun. So we are definitely beyond the veil. At first, I could not contain my many questions, but DeVitt's only reply was a grave silence. Eventually, I lapsed into an uneasy quiet and resolved to follow my patient. I knew not where. We wandered through the vast desert without any apparent goal. On occasion, vague shapes appeared in the distance, crumbling towers and abandoned cities lost amongst the rippling dunes. The passage of time lost all its meaning. I had traversed that world all my life, all the world's life. Our journey was eternity. Then, the man at my side, whom I had followed so long, stopped. He spoke for the first time. We are nearing the threshold. It is the starting point, Doctor. The first place to look. I will be waiting on the other side. Remember this. I will not be here forever. Darkness will light your way. But then, you will be alone. Eerie. Episode 4. Beyond the Curtain. Let's do it. Oh. DeVitt seems to have gone. Okay, Wakefield, let's go. We're on a mission. What could my companion have meant? The threshold. I knew of this. Strange memories returned to me of another life before the desert was my everything. And those cryptic words, darkness will light your way, it was not the first time I had heard them. They were from a dream, a terrible dream when I had begun to follow the trail of my missing patient and taken my first steps to uncovering the secret world of the veil. Mm. Oh, hello. Who are you? In this place, the ancient shadows created by human reasoning trembled in sheer terror. Its name is Zailathal, the last curtain. That was interesting. It also took me about four takes to try and get that name pronounced properly. What are you doing? The scorching light of this dead sunset bleeds through my petrified fingers. My eyes burn. I feel them melting like candle wax. Well, then maybe you shouldn't look at it. I mean, common sense here, you know? How many of you are there? Who? You want a hug? These ruins built by beings long ago. These ruins built by beings long forgotten grant access to the last threshold. You are welcome to enter the ruins, but you will need to find your own key in order to reach the threshold. 
helpful information. Thank you. The man at the entrance said that these ruins contained the access to the threshold, but I see nothing. Devitz said, it is the starting point, the first place to look. Darkness will light your way. What did he mean? Shadows? You got a black light? I don't know. What is... Darkness will light your way. What's this thing? You seem ob oddly obvious. A poster for a theatrical show. But it has neither a title nor a date. Then I guess I will have it. It will prove useful. Ooh, a scratched out face. Hmm. That's a bit of symbolism we've seen before in this place, isn't it? How am I to use this darkness to light my way? Do I have to bring the ruins crumbling down upon me? There doesn't seem to be anything here I can use. I can't use this poster in any fashion. Hmm. Right, let's have another look. Let's pop back out and see if we can find anything of interest. Nope, this is just back in the same way. You're just going to tell me all the same stuff, aren't you? Yes, you were. Good. Well, at least I can rely on you for something. Can I give you any of you the poster? No? I don't think so. Do you want a poster? Nope. Okay. You're not interested in coming to the show, then? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hello. Look to the sky. It reaches to the earth, but we'll never meet it. Can you see the magnificence of this infinite horizon? The cold, unattainable, all-embracing darkness. That, this is the outer limit of the threshold. Not far from here, the black waves of truth wash upon the veil that covers human eyes and it falls apart. I'm sure it does, I'm sure it does. There is no death but rebirth. There is no void but awakening. You are some very interesting people. I cannot enter this forest, apparently. Okay, well then... I'm too tired to go on to keep seeking what was promised us. But at least here I am safe. Safe from the terrible hazard of peering through my own shadow. Are these all clues? I'm imagining they're clues that are meant to help me, but I can't for the life of me figure out what the bloody hell they mean. Raise your arms, for the wind calls our name. The hour has come for us to take flight one last time. Has it now? Is that so? What's in here? More bloody fog. God's sake. Should have brought a fan with you, Wakefield. There's the perfectly built house. What is in said house? Ooh. This place is all kinds of eerie. As if it wasn't bad enough. What's this thing on the wall? Silhouette of a strangely shaped hand, head. If you call it that, it looks like something... Is it a head with a bird claw coming out of it? Ugh. God. Far too bloody foggy in here. Okay. Um, what's in this? Is this a bird cage? What is in here? Some kind of root. It seems to have a human shape. Kind of. I can see where you're going with that. Is it twitching? No, I don't think so. That door's locked. Okay. What about this one? You're open. I suppose we should go wandering around even more and... Jesus. I cannot see a goddamn thing in here. Hello? Ooh, what the f... Fuck. There is something inside that cage. A shadow staring at me with dead eyes. 
Let's go and look right at it, shall we? I can see something in it. No, through it. So I was staring into a dark void. Off in some remote distance, colourful shapes flow in seemingly impossible patterns. Is this the darkness that will light my way? Well, it got light all of a sudden, so maybe. Jeremiah DeWitt, Edward Street 24, Westminster, London. Correct. I should cease stalling and send it. Set the plan in motion. But what then? Lead my old friend through this dangerous journey? I don't know who this character is. Is that, um, Beechworth? From the first episode? The shadow is gone. There is something on the cage floor. A rusty key. Okay. Oh, I imagine this key might be for the door that was locked. So we shall go and have a look. Provided no nasty shadows are going to come and have a, have a go at me. For poking about in all their business. Rusty key. Use on door. Go. There we go. Nice. The fuck is this? Hello, miss. The mm. Okay. Yeah, this looks like um, Beechworth's. I remember, this is the uh, his little study area that went up to the, the attic or something, wasn't it? Okay. The words of my father. So much has happened because of them. Alexandra swears that this time we will succeed. That the hoopoe will undo all of our mistakes. Free us from the terrible haunting gaze. But should we not accept the consequences of our actions? Quite possibly. So much suffering. So many deaths. For what? What have we attained so far? Well, good questions. So many tests were needed to find it. But now that we have... Now that we have what? Anthony, now that we have what? All these books. Their secret knowledge concealed for generations. Waiting for some fool to unveil it all again. Aha, veil. I get it. My faithful companion, who kept many secrets with me over the long nights of research. This letter. Vided ne quisiat. It will be enough, I think. It's time to send it. I'm just not sure that it's the right thing to do. Well, the birds are gonna fuck you up anyway, so... There we go. The shadow has vanished. And a slate disc has been left in its place. So I'll have that. Don't know what any of this stuff is going to do for me. Nothing else to examine, to click on, to grab. No. Okay, so out we go. Hmm. Is there anything further around on this side? Explore around the back of the mansion. Rocks have been piled against the wall, as if to conceal something. Well, I guess we can't do anything about that until we've got some tools, eh? The ground is soaked in blood. Black feathers are strewn about. What happened here? This is all iconography from episode one, season one, isn't it? Slate disc, put you on there. When I put the disc on the gramophone, it started spinning on its own. Wait, is that a melody coming from the house? 
I personally don't hear it, but let's go back and have a look, shall we? That thing is twitching! Ugh. Why? It's the music from the first one. There's another door. That wasn't there before. I'm sure those weren't up there. Okay, that's menacing. Should we try this? The hatch is locked. So I'm not going up there yet. Is it coming from in here? It is. What is it? Oh, that's getting loud. What the? A dead cat on the floor. Again, from the first one. Okay, so things certainly seem to be looping back round to where this whole thing started at the Beechworth Mansion. Whether or not that's where everything started is another matter, but certainly something, I suppose. Is this going to take us up to some iconography to do with the attic? Where Beechworth ended his life? Oh, oh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Um, you are of no worth to us anymore. There was barely any worth to begin with. Well, that was just rude. Is this really the best option your supposedly brilliant mind could envision? Why are you all dressed like nuns? A few meaningless words. A pathetic attempt of your guilt-shattered conscience to remedy the situation. And then you hope to wash the blood from your hands with a cheap exit. I may be guilty of these things, you don't know that. Look upon yourself, Anthony. See what you have become. Witness your only true legacy. Okay, so the, whoever this woman is, is talking to Beechworth. What was his legacy then? Oh! Is that Mr. Beechworth? I see something through the shadow, slowly taking form. Oh, this is getting so fucking eerie! I love it! What was taking form? Oh. The death of his wife. I believe. Anna. Anna. Sweetheart. How did this happen? Too late. It's too late for us. But he can still choose. I have. have to warn him. Ugh. Okay, and now we're back out. What the hell is this? Oh, um, fragment of a broken mask. Oh. I see. Am I gonna have to, like, collect f mask fragments or something? Well, then, how do I use this route? Do I have to give this to someone? Does anybody here want a poster? No? I've no idea what I want to do with this. Someone can have it. I don't bloody need it.
Oh, apparently I can go this way now. Oh, we back to the beach at Wickport. Or was this uh, the beach up in... No, this was the beach up in Scotland, wasn't it? By the boarding school. Certainly looks like it anyway. Yeah, this feels more like the area in Scotland. There is a hole in the ground. I have seen gardeners digging holes like these when they need to transplant trees. Oh, I don't know if that's what they're doing. Do I have to chuck the root in? There we go. Nice. Let's just cover you up with some soil. Very nice. It's well covered. I'm sure you'll bloom into a fantastic oak. Shadows linger in Zyldhals. Shadows linger in Zyldath. This name is a nightmare to pronounce. Shadows linger in Zylathal, like insects trapped in a cobweb. At its center, the spider lies in wait. That's generally what spiders do. That is an eerie shadow. Hmm. Uh, okay. The shadow of a child is sitting in the corner, shaking in terror. Can I assist you? As if peering through a keyhole, I can see things moving in the darkness. More flashback stuff. Okay, what have we got this time? Hmm? I like the style, but those themes... Does Lena approve of this kind of art? You have not lost your old sense of humor, Alexandra, even after what happened. Do you not recall that sight? I would erase the memory if I could. I find that painting makes it easier to bear. What brings you here, anyway? It has been years since we've heard from you. I thought our old cause had been long forgotten. Listen, Ashdown, what if I told you I have found a way of crossing safely? Oh, so H.A. Henry, was it Henry Ashdown? We'd heard about him a couple of episodes ago, I think. So he's starting to finally become having somewhat more of an involvement in this. Okay. Who oh, noises? I always hear noises in these games. Is there anything left for me to do around here? Underneath the statue's hood, there is an empty hole where a face should be. I remember seeing statues like this in Professor Wright's garden. Ah, is that what I need the mask pieces for? Do, we, do you need the mask? Hmm. Quite possibly. I don't know. Oh. A cave has freshly opened. Back to the piano. A grand piano. It is missing a key. Unfortunately, I do not have one. I can give it a poster. No. Mask fragment. No. Okay, so I need a piano key. I need to be putting this mask together. Okay. Right. Well, I think we've had an interesting first look beyond the veil. I'm really liking this so far. It is getting weird and trippy, and we're getting a glimpse back into the, the pasts of oh, a lot of the characters that we've seen so far. A lot of the kind of most, imp well, the, the kind of key characters, uh, um, like Devitt, Alexandra, um, Beechworth, and Ash down. These they seem to be like the the kind of um, the quartet that are responsible for all of this mess. So I think I'm going to leave this episode off here, and we'll catch up with Wakefield and his adventures in the land of the supernatural or whatever uh, sometime next week. So 
I will leave this episode off here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Let's Plays or Metal covers from me, you can check out the playlists that are on the channel, and you can follow the links in the description below to follow me on social media. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Michio, signing off. I thought that was the trigger. That was a bit too obvious, wasn't it? Oh!